Hello and welcome to fit to box channel. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to jab that notifications bell to get all my latest uploads. Today I've got a video of what boxing boots to buy. Different types of boxing boots. What you can get is you can get the low boots which are just over the ankle. You can get these ones which are like mid cut which are just under the calf. You can get the ones that are sort of mid calf which are sort of called high tops. And then you've got the old school sort of right up the leg just at the top of the calf just under the knee the old school boxing boots that you can get now budgets for boxing boots that can be anything from 30 pounds or 40 dollars up to hundreds and hundreds of pounds uh, so you can get a pair of lonsdale boots for about 30 pounds like their base model and you can go to hundreds and hundreds of pounds which would be like your winning boots or your mizunos the, the prices that I'm sort of mentioning in today's videos, they're sort of rough at January 2018 prices. Um, so why do you have boxing boots? Why are you not just wearing trainers? Uh, boxing boots provide great ankle support. Uh, and the flat soles that you get allow you to pivot and move around the ring canvas easier. And also you generally find that most boxing boots are very, very lightweight. Uh, as opposed to normal trainers. Um, you have to consider when you're buying a boxing boot whether your feet are wide or whether they are narrow and that will have a, a sort of outcome into the type of boots that you will buy and I will highlight some of the brands which do a little bit wider in the foot. Now what I would say to you is I see a lot of people and they get frustrated when they're putting on boxing boots because obviously you've got more laces going higher up the leg uh, to actually tie. So I'd say don't get frustrated because you know you've got to expect that to put a pair of boxing boots on it is going to take you longer than a normal pair of trainers. Also if you use normal trainers the grooves on the bottom of normal trainers will grip onto the canvas too much and that will cause shearing forces on your joints uh, but also it's not great for the canvas when the sort of that that grip on the bottom of trainers sort of digs in hence why you normally find that the uh, the bottoms of most boxing boots are fairly flat now i have done lots of boxing boot reviews on the channel so please check them out i've done quite a few head to heads as well so have a look at those i think you'll be very interested in those videos then we come on to sort of budget boots um sub 40 pounds uh lonsdale contender boots is what you would look for And they're about 55 US dollars and they're like Lonsdale's base boots. Uh, I would say they're a great boot just for somebody that's starting out in boxing and just somebody that wants to sort of find out whether or not it's the sport for them. Then Lonsdale do go up in range and this is one of those ones that are a little bit higher. Uh, and these are the Ghost Speed but you can also get the Barn Burner as well. And these are anything between, say, £40 and £60, sort of $55 to $80. And I have to say that Lonsdale do make great boots for those on a budget uh, who are just either starting out or just haven't got the budget to spend a lot of money on their boxing boots. And then we come on to Adidas or Adidas. Um, my first boxing boots were Adidas Tie Gun and they were a really good boot. Uh, their base boots are the Box Hogs. They're about £50 or about £65 uh, US dollars. And then moving up you've got the Hog Plus. Which are about £60 to £70. And they're about £80 to £95 US dollars. Then with Adidas you have obviously got the more expensive ones that you can get. I mean these ones when they first come out were about £150 and these have been a great boot. Uh, but you can also get the uh, more expensive 16.1 versions which are over sort of £100. You can also get the sub 60 to about sub £60 boots, the 16.2s from Adidas. 
Some of my favourite boots of all time are these ones, the Adi Power boxing boots. I'm really, really impressed. So Adidas are a great uh, brand when it comes to boxing boots and they make some really good boots that go right up and down the price range. Also just want to touch on Everlast. Uh, Everlast a bit like sort of Lonsdale really. They make good boots under say £80 or $100. Uh, they've just recently bought out the new Elite boxing boots with the Michelin rubber sole. And they do look really good at around £75 or $99. US then I want to come on to Reebok. Now Reebok, I mean Amir Khan, Floyd Mayweather, they used to wear the original boots uh, which Reebok did. And there is some videos on the channel, so check those out. And I used to really like those uh, boots. They're sort of with the old Reebok sign and they are really hard to come by now. But what Reebok did was they bought out the book range and they bought them out in some excellent colorways. Uh, and I would say that these are the best recommendation for those with wider or flat feet because there is no raised arch in the inside of, of these boots. Um, and I have to say that these are fantastic value for money at around 65, 70 English pounds. Uh, also, you can get some boots from Rival. Rival do the RSX Guerrero, which is about uh, £80, and that is a low top boot. And also, Rival do the RSX One. Classic, which is a high top boot, which is about £95. And again, Rival makes some very stylish boots, um, as do Reebok. Put them down. Now, when we come on to my favourite boxing boots, two of my favourite boxing boots of all time, as you know, are the Nike or Nike Hyper KOs. Uh, these come in at about £160-£170. And also the other most favourite pair of Nikes that I like boxing boot wise are the Roy Jones Jr. Jordan boots that you can see in the background. They also do the new KO boots. It's about £140 to £150 and again I've got videos of that boot but also I've got videos of this boot as well which is the Mako Mai and these are about £100 English. Pounds. Now Nike boots are quite slim boots normally and they've got the raised arch on the inside. Uh, they also do an outdoor version, the KO Shield boots which uh, Manny Pacquiao uh, was wearing in and outside of the ring and they're a nice nice boot as well but as I say I've got lots and lots of different versions of the actual Hyper KOs uh, and I do love them as you know so let me just put that to one side in terms of Nike then above Nike's uh, sort of price range these are about 160 to 170 pound there is more expensive boots out there you can get some Mizuno boots or winning boots and they are both hundreds and hundreds of pounds they are both super light and they are both made in Japan um, but when it comes to boots if I was to sort of name my favorite boots the boots that I would love to own then I would have to say there is three there would be the Triple G Gennady Golovkin Jordan boots that you see uh, there's a YouTube video out there where he's wearing uh, the Triple G D Jordan Nike Jordan boots and then I like Canelo's Mizuno's that he used to wear and also um, Canelo's Under Armour's that he wears where he's got the flaps that come down as well And another pair of boots I absolutely love are Anthony Joshua's white Under Armour boots. I 
I think they are absolutely fantastic. So all three of them boots, the Triple G Jordans, the Canelo sort of flap type uh, of, of boots, either the Mizuno's or the Under Armour, and Anthony Joshua's Under Armour, those are my sort of dream boots. Um, if I could get hold of any pairs of them, that would be, that would be ace. But in terms of boxing boots, I mean, as I say, you can get lots and lots of different boots, uh, all at different price points. But what you really do need is a pair of boxing boots. If you're getting on that ring canvas, don't just uh, put up with doing it in trainers. That'll do you for a little while. But some places, like our gym, we prefer if you wear boxing boots in the ring. Because as I say, there is a wear and tear element onto the canvas. So I hope you enjoyed that, just a little bit of a whistle-stop tour about around the different brands, the different types and also different prices that you can pay for your boxing boots and just wanted to bring you that. Hope you enjoyed that, please like and subscribe to Fit2Box channel and I shall speak to you soon.